Calm down. Well, the problem for Clermont has been missing chances. The problem for Leinster has been conceding penalties, but they've got away with it tonight. I wonder if they'll get away much longer, though, with the likes of Bonaire and company carrying. Clearly, I think in, in this half, Clermont have tightened their game up and they're trying to drive at the heart of Leinster. And they have created the opportunities. They've scored a try, they've had penalty chances, but they haven't taken them. This is classic Bonaire. He's played a big game. We've talked about Heaslip, but the French blind side, he's a fine player in his own right. James is in turmoil, he's not showing it, but his kicks show it. It doesn't that time. There's two points between the sides once more. We've got a quarter of this magnificent quarter-final to go. Well, I guess there'll be six teams watching this quarter-final tonight, relieved that one of them's going out. This is what it means. Oh, it's so tight. It's a long old journey back to Clement Montferrand if your team lose. But what a night in Dublin, if just one more penalty was to be the difference for Clement. 3,000 fans have made the journey and you can hear them. <laughs> All day in Dublin, Miles, you can hear them. March together, or many of them did, from the uh, centre, out here to the ground. A show of togetherness. And that's a match right in the balance again. Well, the, the French team cannot complain about the encouragement they are being given. It's quite magnificent from their supporters. And just for a second there, it felt like Clermont and Verne were at home. Yes. Such was the response from their fans. Here's Parra. James. And no touch option there. A little bit slack there from Horgan. And a charge down, and Melzier looking for a hat-trick here. Julian Melzier. Melzier is going to get it. He was unstoppable again. And Clement have the lead again. What an amazing cup tie this is. Through all the creativity we've seen for an hour, it's a howler of a mistake. It wasn't a very good kick from James. He's blocked late by Hayslip, by the way. But Horgan makes a right mess of this. And then he's too slow getting back. Joubert chases down the lost cause, and then Mauser thinks, hang on, he thinks about the inside pass, then the dummy, he's still got work to do, but Sexton doesn't have the pace to get near him, a hat-trick for the hero. Shane Horgan's horror moment, first the attempted trap, then the slowness to get the ball away, and there's very little his colleagues can do, Mauser wasn't going to miss it. That is still a superb finish from Mauser. What was key, he didn't just tuck the ball up so the defenders knew they could go for him. He was threatening with a pass, split second, and a split second is all this guy needs. What a performance. Mauser, three, he slipped two, Clement the lead, what a game. James the kicker. Again, conversion or not, should be really, and is. Flags up, Clement up. I just... And now it's Clermont Avern who are away from that three-point score from Leinster. Amazing, Miles. We said seesaw, 10-0, 2010. In the first 22 minutes of this half, it's now, what, 18-3 to Clermont's way. It's time for it to swing back Leinster's way. The time is against them. What a last quarter. Up goes Nathewa. Now, whose knock-on was that? Arm goes towards Leinster. Darcy. And the advantage called over now. Whoever knocked it on first. There's Wright and Redden and Hines. Redden again. Sexton. Here comes O'Driscoll. And he slipped looking for his hat trick. Oh, somehow he's managed to place the ball back there to his scrum half, Redden. Kian Healy tries an O'Driscoll pass. And it works to McLaughlin. Redden. Darcy. Stan Wright looks for support. Redden, he slipped. Keep an eye on him. Redden trying to free this ball quickly, relatively quickly. Still a chance. Pick and Horgan trying to make up for it. McLaughlin. And now it doesn't feel like a home game for Clement. Redden, Sexton, good hands. O'Driscoll and Cardi's coming. Cardi nearly there. They try and drive over the champions. One more phase might do it here. Redden might just put that down. Time off. Time off. 
well. Superb stuff from Rob Carney again. His running line gave Leinster the possibility of scoring this try down. Does Redden get there? Into the netherworld we go. If Owen Redden has done this, what a little piece of skill and quick thinking. Carney with that blasting power and nearly through. And Rusery did brilliantly, didn't he, to get his body in the way. Now, Redden, number nine, he's behind the forward. The ball is so close to the line. Was it on the line originally? We almost need to go back to Carney going down. Well, hang on, I don't think he's going to count. Who's no, put the late hit in? No, it's, no, it's Clement Auvergne. Yeah, so the try could still count. So it'll be a penalty anyway. Now, let's concentrate on this. Well, the ball does hit the line, but it undoubtedly goes down first. Now, is, is it on, there's the secondary movement, and that secondary movement suggests that Redding doesn't think it's a try. If you watch it, it, it goes down, it hits the floor, and then it rolls forward. There. I just think he tries to slide that one, I think there's an army of Glenmore players. Now, down, and then he pushes it forward. So if we can't see the line, one can only assume he's short and he's trying to reach two inches. Oh, what a decision well, this you, is. I, I don't see how you can give that, because Reading definitely moves the ball forward with a sense of urgency to suggest he's not got there first time. Now, I, What's, there's the secondary movement, which tells me that unless we know that ball's on the line, you can't give that, because Redding knows it's not got far enough. You can't. Yeah. OK. Now, I've got a penalty over there that I'm going to go back for, OK? Thanks. So it's no, no try, try. no try. Penalty Interesting there, choice of work from Dave Pearson and Leo Cullen earlier in the uh, piece when he said to Leo Cullen, no try, penalty over there, and Cullen's just... You can see his heart pounding almost from the commentary position here, but of course the penalty was then explained to the Leinster captain that it had been committed by Morgan Parra, and we will have a penalty at the point of that offence. <whistles> there. 15 minutes to go, Sexton surely takes three points. Champions of Europe, they know they've got plenty of time. They have to kick this, that gets them within drop goal penalty range. And we know, of course, that Johnny Sexton, like his illustrious colleague and rival for the island position, Ronan O'Gara, is nervous when he has to strike a late drop goal. This puts Leinster within range. But Clermont will probably be thinking themselves, hey, that ain't the end of the world. They were that close, they were inches, they were millimetres from our line. But the other side of that coin, Leinster now, having got that close from that concerted attack, wave after wave must try and leave with something here so sexton needs to cope with that it's can't miss zone it's can't miss zone this one it's not miss zone for sexton he is keeping leinster alive Absolutely nerveless. That looks like an easy kick from Sexton, but he has really got his rhythm tonight. He doesn't look like missing any sense. If he's 50 metres out in the last minute, he's got it in him. Here we go. James with the restart. He slipped away from Rougerie. And almost Pierre too, but almost not enough as Pierre, the international, makes the tackle. Redden for Nathewa. He's got to time this and does. Now he's on the wrong side, trying to make out that he's not interfering with play. Lucky not to be penalised there. That's the game, isn't it? You hear Leinster saying pick and go. That's what Clement want to do, Ledesma and co. James. The favour again, this time defensively, offside. Yeah, really sloppy there from Clement. The forwards done some good controlling work there. And then all the forwards within 10 yards of the kick, they didn't reverse. We have seen uh, eradication of that penalty because referees have got so much sharper on it. And that was very sloppy from Clement in a night where there hasn't been much sloppiness around. Saxon looks back, a little hobbled in the after the kick, and he went back to 
his own half, his successful kick, but he's fine. I think Clement have got to get down the other end. I don't think they will defend successfully for 12 minutes. I think Leinster have got too much, whether it's goal kicking, drop kicking or try scoring. I think Clement needs something else yet. Sexton, O'Driscoll, oh. oh that's good play from Darcy as well, who goes outside of Morgan. And deliberate knock-on is the uh, screaming call from oh. Leinster players and supporters too. Referee Dave Pearson is rummaging in his pocket. Men going on the back. Oh. It's the Leinster ploy that dismantled Breve in the pool stages and it has just dealt the hammer blow. Floss off the pitch for a deliberate knock-on. Sexton five metres from the touchline, looking to make it seven from seven. Anthony Floss is saying it wasn't deliberate. Beautiful roll ball there. A Driscoll with the soft hands. Now, yeah, he slaps it down. That, that is, there's a, I know what you're going to say. Is that a penalty try? I can sense what you're saying. You need to look at it wide. No, I don't think it is. Brock James is coming over. He's got the angle. But definitely a card, definitely a pen. Lovely work between the two centres. Darcy and O'Driscoll. And under the greatest pressure, real pressure to perform. And these guys are still doing it. Top class international rugby. Talking of our friend Pressure, here he is again. <coughs> the Sexton. And where James has failed, Sexton has not. And this for the lead for the champions. Won't be. And you know where that one came from. You heard a contact with the grass. You heard it from where we are, Miles. And we're 40 metres away. So now he has a blemish too. D Domingo's He's moving freely. Domingo's moving to the bench. He's been Debatti comes on. Vincent de Batty, born in Belgium, made uh, an international appearance for France. And here's Irish international Johnny Sexton. No fullback now.